you gonna do when they come for you? Bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? Or what you gonna do when they come for you? Bad boys, bad boys. Or what you gonna do? Or what you gonna do when they come for you? Yo, Oscar, you got to sing that with me, dude. You got to sing that with me real quick. Yo, let's do it on three. Ready? One, two, three. Bad boys, bad boys. boys what you going to do? What you going to do when they going to come for you? Bad boys, bad boys. What you going to do? What you going to do when they come for you? I know what you want to come on the end. I'm being down when they all day. The mom, you can no pray. Not even your auntie, them give you an all break. Hey, hey, bad boys, bad boys. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another Saturday night, 9 p.m. Eastern. Bad boys of reselling. And, and uh, welcome to the bad. I hope everybody is ready for an amazing event. We have so many things planned, as always. Uh, we spent all week working very hard, tirelessly. Uh, didn't sleep, barely ate. And, um, yeah, that's the secret, folks, by the way. Uh, all you got to do is not eat anything. Just don't eat anything. You take a couple pills, you know, for, uh, for like, vitamin C and stuff, and yep. boom, that's it. That's that's how you that's how you do it, man. That's the healthiest lifestyle ever. And then once you pass out, then once you pass out, you can have about four ounces of water. You can't have more than four ounces, and then you're good. Just keep it going. Yeah, who said you can't have bread, bro? You could totally eat, like, like a whole half a slice of bread and drink four ounces of water a day and you're definitely going to lose weight. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. If that's what your goal is, just lose weight. That's all you got to do. It's actually a lot better than that and simpler. But um, welcome, everybody, yo. I'm hey, Alex. Disclaimer, disclaimer, disclaimer. Disclaimer. Do not, do not take any advice um, from a live stream on YouTube, okay? Never. You can go one. through coachings. You can go through one-on-one -on -one coachings about, you know, lifestyle changes and, and health and things like that. But not from a live stream, right? Yeah, and and you you could totally pay for a coach, um, and spend you know fifteen hundred dollars a month, two thousand dollars a month, and they're just gonna yell at you and uh, tell you what to do, um, or you can get a coach for free. You know what I mean? Holla at your boy. So um, if y'all, so, so what's up? What's up, Oscar? How you doing? Boy? I'm tired, man. I'm tired, man. But I'm good. I'm good. You know, uh, it's a rough week, but you know, it's the weekend, you know, time to unwind, relax, you know, kind of, uh, you know, take a break, take a break from everything that, you know, we go through during the week. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I know that there's probably a lot of questions about the final episode, but you know, we got a lot of our friends that are in the chat with, you know, I think we should say what's up to them. I see them. I see them. I see them. I see them. I want to mention this first and foremost. All right. Um, for those of you who are just tuning in, you know, watching this after the live, or maybe you're not up to date with what um, I'm doing with my life, definitely go follow me on Facebook. Go follow me on Instagram. Instagram is from Fat Man to That Man. Uh, Facebook, I have no idea, but it's just my name, Alex Melendez. And um, definitely follow me. I'm I'm just on. A, I'm a man on a mission, trying to change the world. That's my motivation is uh, changing myself in hopes that I can inspire others to make even the most subtle change in the right direction to better the quality of their mental health, physical health, spiritual health, and their financial health. All right. So uh, if you know anybody that's out there that wants to, you know, really figure out how to not only lose weight, but maintain a healthy weight once they get there and maintain a healthy lifestyle, I have something for you. You guys can send me an email, fatmantheflipper at gmail.com, um, or you can check me out on Facebook, send me a PM, uh, Instagram, DM, all that stuff. I'm here to help you, and I'm here to help you. That's just what it is. So uh, shameless plug. I'm sorry. I got to do this because I'm on fire, and I definitely – um, I'm diving in. I'm diving in. Like I always said since day one, two years ago, and Borderline Hoarderish was right there. Kimmy, she'll tell you. I always said, jump in the pool. And that's what I'm doing. I'm jumping in the pool. Uh, I've been preparing. Y'all know when I had my auction, I was preparing. Uh, I said I wanted to focus on a couple things. I did. And here I am. So just so y'all know, holler at your boy. I want to help you, and I can help you, but it's on you, all right? Stop making excuses. Stop it. 
Just holler at me. I got you. All right. So jump in the pool. Jump in the pool. Let's say what's up to some people, dog. All right. I'm gonna start from the bottom up. I'm gonna start from the bottom up. We got Darlene Priest right here. What's up, Darlene? You got, of course, the most beautiful sister from another mister. If I could hug her and kiss her, I would. Cause she is all good. You know what I'm saying? What's up, borderline hoarders? Uh, we got Sugar Plum Fairy. What's up, Sugar Plum? We got A.E. Reed. Yo, this guy right here is an inspiration, dude. Uh, I, I, I was I was fortunate and uh and very blessed to listen to his story and um and and we're friends now. And this guy is also on a health journey with me. He's um how how do I call it? Um a health enthusiast, just like me. So he's awesome. You guys go check him out. Show him some love. Uh, we got go, 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 girl. Go, girl, go. We got them flipping cruders. What's up? Alex helped me. And for that, thank you so much. You, you helped yourself. You took initiative. You jumped in the pool. And from that point forward, I just swam with you. That's all it was. We're just swimming and play. We're playing Marco Polo. We're both blind. We don't see nothing, but we're but we're but we're playing. We're playing the game. So I'm I'm proud of you. She's already lost over 25 pounds, and she's doing amazing. Her white blood cell count is leveled out. Her potassium deficiency that she's had for a very long time is leveled out. She's doing amazing. It's it's, it's beautiful. We got, of course, the most beautiful Mookie to the Pookie. What's up, Mookie? We got Darlene. I already said hi to Darlene, but we're going to show her again. What's up? We got Denise Vulture, the dumpster diver. We got Douglas. What's up, Douglas? I didn't like the, the last coach I have. Every time we get in a huddle, we would pat he would pat me on the butt. <laughs> hey, I'll only pat you on the butt with your permission, bro. I will only pat you on the butt with your permission. Pat you on the butt with his foot. <laughs> Yo, we got Sarah Chapman. Yo, this is this right here. This girl's a superstar in the making. She already is a superstar, but she she's amazing. She has a great personality. I kind of want to do like a podcast or like a live thing with her. I don't know because she's just amazing and she's also on the same health journey. Me and is. It's, it's really cool to be on this with her and get to know her. Um, go check her out, man. She's on TikTok. Um, I can't. You know what I'll do? Don't worry. I got you, Sarah. I got you. She's on TikTok. She's, you know, Instagram. She's doing her thing. Go check her out. Show her some love. We got, of course, the beautiful El Puerto Ricanazo. <laughs> oh, no, wait. My bad. El Cubanazo. Same difference, right? It's me. No, it's not the same. There's different colors on the flag, two different islands. I just want to acknowledge this because I agree. My name is that man, the flipper formerly known as Fat Man, and I agree and I agree with this statement. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Kim. I feel amazing. That's the most important part. Once you feel amazing, it's it's amazing. It's amazing. And I want to acknowledge this comment too. That smile. What you got up your sleeve? Um, nothing. <laughs> I don't even got tattoos. I'm going to get tatted up one day. How about that? I'm going to tattoo my face. Just a whole... No, I would never... Nothing wrong with it. Just My face is too beautiful to hide it with tattoos. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad I never did it. Almost did it when I was younger. We got Amy. What's up, Amy? Hot messness. Hot messness. Yo, we got the original Don Dada from Ohio right here, My Flipping Life. What's up, dog? Hey, we miss you on the show, dog. Can't wait to have you back. I know you're out there killing it. He's out there killing it, bro. Yeah, he keeps getting that trophy. Right? He keeps getting trophies, man. That's that's what's up. That's what's up. Living your best life, that freedom, dude. We talked about it before. We talked about it before. Yeah, you got yeah that's, important. that's one of the most important things to be able to actually do what it is that you love to do and then see yourself excel at it. That's a reward. You know, that's yeah. a reward. Yeah, man. We got Lucinda. What's up, Lucinda? She just came back from a vacation. Feeling good, feeling good. And we got, of course, flipping goodies. What's up, Mike? 
what if I just stay up till like 2 a.m. and get up at 6 a.m.? Is that okay or am I cheating? <laughs> cheating on what? Uh, like, what are you cheating on? <laughs> He's talking about the no sleep. I mean, you only oh. cheat if you have more than four ounces of water. That's right. right that's right. Yeah, you can't have more than four ounces of water. As long as you do that and only as much of, as a half a slice, do not take my advice. I'm telling you, it's horrible advice. Horrible advice. Drink lots of water. Lots of water. Drink two of these a day. Get you a bubble. Yo, these bubbles are dope. Hey, this get you video. A, get you a Papa Bear. Get you a Papa Bear. All right. This video is sponsored by Papa, Papa Bear. <laughs> Papa Bear and Bubba, both at the same time. All right. Hey, sponsor me, Bubba. Sponsor me. Yo, these things are dope. They actually, you know how, like, you put ice in a cup with water, and normally, like, it melts. Like, no matter what you do, it's going to melt. Dude, yeah. I put a little bit of ice in here and I fill it up with water, and the ice is there till I eat the ice, basically. This is there. Yeah, it's dope. It's dope. Did I already say hi to Douglas? I think I did. We got Irene. What's up, Irene? All right. Hey, I see a lot of people up in here. Thank you so much for being here. If you haven't hit the thumbs up, Oscar, what should they do? They should hit the thumbs up. Yes. I know why. Wait, but actually, I got a better idea. What? Maybe they should hit the thumbs up. Maybe. Okay. So maybe or they should hit the thumbs up? They should hit the thumbs up. So it's up to them. Like They either hit the thumbs up or hit the thumbs up. All right, cool. So hit the thumbs up. All right. Show us some love because why? Because not so much that it helps us out because it does, obviously, right? It'll tell the YouTube algorithm us people thumb this up um they're interacting with it and stuff like that but when you do that it it you're putting good stuff out into the universe you know good juju and it's gonna come back to you i'm telling you good juju you put it out though if you put out more juju in a good form than bad juju then it's gonna outweigh the bad juju that's gonna come to you i'm telling you i'm telling you put good into the world all right if i missed anybody i'm sorry all right but now I'm catching up to all these comments that I didn't see because I was going up instead of down. So, Oscar, you've uh, have you had any macaws lately? No. Okay, just just curious. Just curious. Not yet. I'm sure everybody wants to know what's up with the last final episode of the Bad Boys of of Reselling. Let's do this. Let's talk about the beginning of the bad boys of reselling. Dude, we see, to the end. see, dog? Hey, things just happen. Dude, this is why I love this, bro. I love this because we don't plan nothing, but we're always trying to put something positive out there, right? And, dude, that, that's beautiful. I didn't plan to make this the final episode. No. That was not the plan today. It was I a spur of the moment thing. And I, I never, I never plan to be the very, very, very special guest. That's right. You know, yeah, I mean? because yeah, yo, we need Jordan. Hey, Jordan, dog, where are you, bro? He's Jump on, dog. He's on his. He's probably on the third lap. <laughs> <laughs> like he's so good at it. He's racing these cars while while watching us. Forget the hey, just for tonight, dog. Jump on. Say what's up, dog. Say what's up. What up, Wes? Diamond Wes. Diamond Wes. Style up the world. What's up? Welcome. So, yeah, the beginning, bro. I mean, the beginning, dog. It was I just... the first time that you showed up at my house. Let's do it. When you showed up at my house with a camera in my face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I remember that. I remember all the time with the Dymo that I had gotten those Dymos and I was doing online arbitrage and, and whatnot. And we were all, yo, reselling. We're going to be six figure resellers on Amazon and eBay and all of that. And at that time, around that time, we were excited about having like $20, $30 sales online, which was exciting. It was, you know, it was an experience for me, at least. You know what I mean? I, I'd sold stuff in the past, but then. You know, seeing consistent sales and they grow into somebody was a lot of fun. And then, you know, the the bad boys are reselling. You know, the, the the very very special guest. You know what I mean? It was cool. Yeah. It was fun. It was it was, um, it was five of us. 
Yeah. It was five of us. Yeah. Five of us. It was. It was Josh. It was um. Tiffany. It was you. It was jo- uh, Oscar. Um, it was Jordan, and it was me. And in the beginning, back it was Google Hangouts. It wasn't Streamyard. Yeah. No stream so yard. you could you could put ten people up in the thing, and they would all be at the bottom. Right, so we would have people like Scott the Bearded Picker. Uh, we had Kimmy on the show, man. We had uh, uh, Steve Alcorn. We had, I mean, everybody, dude. In the beginning, it was literally like, jump on in, let's talk, let's have fun, let's, you know, and we'll talk about reselling, but um, you know, it was more like just community, dude. It was community. It was everybody getting together, and there's no like. The, you know, this guy, it, it's his show. Or, no, it was like, let's just do it. Let's just have fun. Who wants to jump on? You know what I'm saying? And then we started trying to structure things. And that just created a lot of rebellion within all of us, dude. And it, it created a lot of conflict. And it was like, this is not what it was meant to be, you know? And then finally, when we finally became the bad boys of reselling, we went back to what it was, bro. Just having fun, dude. Getting together, hanging out with the chat, you know. Yeah, and then you know it was uh, it was that moment when there was like a little bit of structure and an organization and whose channel is it gonna be on this weekend and you know all of that stuff. Yeah, you know, it's started to get a little bit uh, you know, kind of hectic, you know, with the whole coordination. And it's, I, I feel like spontaneous is so much better. You know what I mean? Like, we're not in a script what it is that we're going to talk about. So when we went to back to that, you know, I feel that everything flowed a lot better, you know. And then we had random guests. You know, we write to a couple people and suddenly I was like, hey, what's up? You want to jump on? You know, and then popping the link right into the chat, you know, having everybody just jump, just come in, just, just jump on. You know, it was fun. You know, it was fun. And, and you know, you mentioning that brings up the fact that, that's why we did what we did so that we can have these memories, dude. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like I picture myself with you, you know, like on our front porch, you know, on a rocking chair, you know, smoking Cuban cigars straight up, straight up. You know what I'm saying? Some Jose Martis or some Romeo y Julietas, you know, just, just talking about all these things. You know, and and hopefully, you know, we're still connected with everybody that's here, and and you know, that's life. Life, life ain't life ain't so much about the goal, because there's no guarantees in life, right? The only guarantee in life is that one day you're gonna be gone. It's the only like 100% guarantee, right? Or your money back. <laughs> okay. It's the only thing. So there's no guarantees in life. So so then so then what is life? Why do we strive for so much? Why are we constantly focused on trying to achieve things? Well, it's not so much to achieve those things. It's to grow. It's to experience. It's to learn and it's to share, dude. That's it. That's that that's something I'm just saying right now because that's what I feel. I, I you know, like I always say tomorrow I can have a totally different idea and a totally different point of view. But that's that's the point. That's the point. You know what I'm saying? At least that's that's how I feel. I mean, and yes, yeah, style of the world, you can definitely have I have one already on back order for somebody else. <laughs> so uh the one with the little teddy bear with the crown, it's already promised to somebody. But um, definitely, I just bought this shirt, and look how loose it is. You know what I'm saying? And it's PlayStation. Like, I just bought this, and it's loose on me. My pants that I bought the other day, pretty much, are loose. Like, I'm probably a size 46, 44. I haven't really measured myself. But my belt, I can't I can't close my belt anymore. So I'm, I'm, I'm living like if I'm 15 years old again and sagging my pants, you know? Crossing my fingers everywhere I go like a dummy. Like a dummy? Speaking of dummies. Speaking of dummies. We had someone else on the show that was a dummy. Definitely wasn't just me, Kathy. Just me, Kathy. She's one of the original 
ones that have been following us day, since day one, man. She was uh, the the our, our, our cheerleader. She was the one that was cheering us on in every show. I love you, Kathy. Thank you. We love you, Kathy. Kathy. Bro. And she's doing amazing, you know, her videos. She is, dude. I mean, she. that's how it is, right? Oh, what's up, Jody? Another one. Jody's another one. She is another health enthusiast just like myself and doing amazing and inspiring the world. And that's what it's all about. We just said it, man. Life is about the experience. It's about it's about sharing those experiences. And that's that's what we're going for. So Manny, Manny was somebody who who would share his experiences right then and there. He had no filter. I wish I wish we could get Manny on right now. That'd be cool. Uh, I should call I should call Josh up and be like, yo, we need Manny real quick. <laughs> but but that was a good time. Remember the time? That was probably one of my favorite memories of Manny was when we, you know, Josh came up with the idea. He's like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to, I'm going to like close my screen off and then I'm going to change Manny. I'm going to change his hat. I'm going to change his shirt and I'm going to put him in a different position. And I'm just going to do that every few minutes throughout the show until someone points it out. And people would catch it, and that's fun. That was fun. Hey, no, having, having having Josh and, and Manny on, it was it was it was a trip. It was it was fun. Every time, every it was different. Every show was different. And then Manny was doing some type of crazy shenanigans in the background, you know. And all the girls had a crush on Manny. And and I'll be honest, bro. You know me. I'm gonna be honest, bro. I didn't I didn't want to accept it back then, but I was jealous of Manny. I was jealous. he was getting all the attention from all the ladies, you know. And it made me jealous. It made me jealous of Manny, um, even though he wasn't real. But he was real to other ladies, you know. <laughs> Yo, we have a special guest. All right, I have a special guest. I'm gonna bring him on right now. In five, four. Hold on, hold on. Before I do, I, I wanna, I wanna do this. I'm gonna do this right here. Five, four, three, two. Busted. Yo. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, it's the gopher fighting. Oh, my God. What's up, dog? <laughs> Miss you, dog. You don't look excited, Jordan. Smile. His audio is not working, probably. You probably can't hear us. Do you see us? Can you see us? This is so classic, dude. <laughs> this is so classic. Since day one, yo, we used to, me and Jordan started this, man. And we started doing a live show just because we, we became friends through YouTube. And we were both brand new resellers. And we started talking all the time. And we would talk about what we were going through as a reseller. And I was thinking at the same time he was thinking... We should do a, 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 a live show. And he mentions it to me. And I'm like, dude, I was thinking the same thing. So we did. We did a live show. We got a lot of feedback. This is classic. This is amazing. This is amazing. So the reason, yo, we got Susan. What's up, Sue? My first moderator right there. I love you, Sue. You're, Sue can tell you all the stories. The, 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 the main reason I would do the show every week on my channel was because Jordan had crappy internet. Because Jordan always had an issue. It was a tech technical issue. And this is a great example. Nothing's changed, dog. <laughs> Just like old times. Look at him. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Let's watch him figure it out. <laughs> uh <laughs> Hey Jordan, you all right? Hey Jordan, I think he logged off. <laughs> no, he turned off. Come back. <laughs> I'm gonna mute his mic for now. There you go. <laughs> Let me know when you're ready, homie. Hey, it just feels good to have him right there, dog. Back. Yeah. It feels good, man. It feels good. Good times, bro. I mean, we've met so many people. How, how'd you do that, Jordan? I got you muted. 
<laughs> like he still managed to unmute. Like, <laughs> look, 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 look. This is why we love Jordan. <laughs> yeah, we love you. This is where the dolphins, um, dolphins and raccoon sounds came from. This guy right here. This guy right here. If it wasn't for him and his way of expressing himself so openly, uh, we would have never had dolphin sounds. No filter. No, no, no filter, dude. No filter. I always wanted to do a show called um uh what was it called? Um I, I forgot to say this. Yeah, I I've been dying to say, oh yeah. So I'm I'm about to cuss. So if there's anybody that's that's sensitive to, to words that are still in the dictionary, but might sound kind of bad, just cover your ears. But I wanted to start a show called uh I've been dying to say this shit, right? Just like that. And that was gonna be the intro. Like some angry person saying, I've been dying to say this shit, you know? And Jordan was the perfect, like the perfect character for that, like himself. And so I was like, dude, you gotta do it. And he hasn't done it. He he hasn't done it. He can still do it though. What's up, dog? What's up? What's up? All right. Hey, all right. We got audio. <laughs> I couldn't hear anything. I had some setting was off. <laughs> yeah, we, up, Lisa? we put you on the big screen and we just watch you figure it out. <laughs> I know. That's why I was just like, I shut off the camera. I'm like, I don't even know if you can hear me. I'm going to start cussing here soon. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's what we were talking about. We are talking about dolphin noises now. What's so, up, Tom? What's going on with the the racing, bro? Tell, 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 us, tell us a little bit about the Yeah, show. where have you been, dog? Tell the people. The people want to know. Uh, every, we us. always get questions like, yo, where's Jordan? We can tell you, like, yo, Jordan is, is, is doing something that he enjoys. He's excelling at it. And, you know, he's uh, Alex says every time, racing oversized Hot Wheels. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I've been basically racing their uh, Traxxas Slash, but their more so like uh, dirt race cars like you'd see at a normal racetrack at a dirt racetrack. Uh, late models and sprint cars and all kinds of stuff. Uh, I've been buying a whole fleet. Um, I started back in what, end of January I started. Um, work, started working my way up the ladder there and started getting the hang of it. Started to really enjoy it. Bought a couple more cars and now I'm here. Tomorrow is the, the last race at the local track. It's on a Sunday for some odd reason, but then the outdoor season opens up and it's going to be traveling around. It's an hour, hour and a half, you know. Yeah, so, yeah. Ended up, yeah. You know, what, second, second in the point series. That was awesome, uh, dude. I would have had first, but, you know, I had family stuff going off. My father yeah. all passing away, but I had to miss a couple races, but... Uh, I would have had first, I took second, and then I got second in our big race at the end of the year. Took second in that, brought home a big-ass trophy. <laughs> so it's pretty cool, pretty cool to do all that five months into a brand-new hobby. That's what's awesome. up. And so how many how many cars you got in your fleet now? Uh, three. Three. Just, just bought the third one, what, this week? Yeah, the Joker car. Yeah. That's what's up. Yo, we got we got people asking these these weird questions, um, and and we're gonna answer those weird questions. Um, <laughs> we're gonna answer them, but hold on, Kim, yeah, Kim, go ahead. My 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 youngest will be two next month. Jesus. Yeah, the, the that's not the worst question I was. I'm yeah, talking that's about. not the question. Crazy dog, right? Yeah. You you almost you practically almost gave birth on live show. You've done yeah. so many amazing <laughs> things on live, bro. So many amazing, you, so many milestone record breaking. Like, it's crazy, crazy. Hey, your very first show. Tell tell people what your very first show live, your very first live on your channel was like. <laughs> oh man, you can't make that stuff up. Yeah, yeah. It's still there. I'll never forget you. Were, you were working in the yard. I'm gonna go watch that. Yeah, it was mulching all day. Yeah, actually, yeah, I mulch. 
This year I mulched and then went racing. Didn't fall asleep, but and actually went went mulching and went and then won. <laughs> Yeah, and then you, you know, we're having a good show. I remember Steve Alcorn was there. Um, Sue, I believe Sue was on there too, right? Yeah. And it was on your channel. Yeah. Yes. So, so nobody could leave. No, but we couldn't. Nobody can stop the stream. Nobody, and we we didn't leave you. We stayed there. I think I think some of us might have stayed there more because we were interested in finding out when you would finally wake up, and like. <laughs> You know the the climax of the whole event. It was at it was it was at two twelve a.m. when he got up. Every, <laughs> and then he phone, did, you hear it in the video. My phone vibrating. Everyone remember, calling me and messaging this. me. Yeah, right here. I, I wasn't I wasn't friends with your wifey on, on Facebook, and I I went like tried I sent her a friend request. I said I tried to hit her up on Messenger. And then the next day, she got the messages, and what was it that happened? She's like, why is this guy? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Why is this guy blowing me up? What did you do? Yeah, Pat D's wanted to call 911. <laughs> <laughs> yo, that's so true, yo. Pat D's wanted to call 911. And, and he would. We hear like, like a crash, and then all we, all we see is this. Like, yo, Jordan, where you at? <laughs> right here. <laughs> Yo, Lisa, I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you, boss. That's the boss lady right there. She's uh, she's my boss. I work for her for free, and <laughs> she, she, she's telling me I gotta work overtime now on the weekends. I'm, I'm letting you know I'm gonna be late every single day this upcoming week. Okay. But um, yeah. So look, let, let's address the elephant in, in the atmosphere. Or room, or whatever it's called. Elephant. Yo, Jordan, I'm gonna mute you for a moment. Or right, you do it. You do it. Whenever you talk, unmute. You do that. Okay. Yeah, there's a little bit of feedback. Classic Jordan, though. Classic Jordan. That's why we love Jordan. Now we love Jordan for for his strengths and all the other things. Transparent. Um, yeah, the transparency. He don't give a shit, bro. Jordan don't give a shit. Yeah, <laughs> don't give a shit. Uh, Jordan is the he. He's literally right now. He's like, yes, I get to mute and go into the chat and troll everybody in the chat right now while I'm on the live stream. <laughs> he's gonna be trolling y'all for the next five ten minutes at least. But yo, the the elephant in the room, right? The final show of the bad boys of reselling. So, y'all seen us, man. Past few months, how often have we talked about reselling? Past year, how often have we really dove into any serious topic on reselling? And when we have, were those as enjoy as as fulfilling as just being us and talking random things and at the same time speaking about real things, like real life experiences? I know. Oscar, what's your what's your what's your opinion on on that bad boys of reselling was a was a name that we came up with when we were you know really into the reselling but the show in reality was saturday night was to let loose and you know yeah we were resellers we were selling but it was more about a show of letting loose you know what i mean forget about the week you know kind of relax get together and most recently, from and not just most recently, from the very beginning, we really have been talking about things, content, topics that were more real. Yep. Right? Yep. Real life experiences. We've been talking about, you know, um, lots of things that a person can apply to reselling, but something was it was much more than that. Yeah, like we, we would talk about ourselves, but not not in the sense of, oh, look what I'm doing and look what I can do. I don't know if y'all remember Mad TV. Look what I can do. You remember that? It wasn't that. It was We would talk about ourselves, but in a more deeper sense. You know, we would dive into our 
you know, the, the things we went through, the way we felt, the way we thought, the way we acted. And it was almost as though it was therapy for us. And in a lot of cases from a lot of messages and emails that I've been receiving for already over a year, you know what I'm saying? Going on two, well, no, it's been two years, dude. We've done this for two years. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, it's always, you know, you're, you guys are inspiration. You guys are motivating. You guys are funny. You know, I had a good time. You know, that's what it was. And not going to lie, it, it always felt as though we were doing the bad boys of reselling because that's what we were introduced to the YouTube world as. We didn't know anything about YouTube. We didn't know that you could actually do YouTube. Like we, if anything, we knew you could watch it. We never really thought about like doing YouTube. But when we, me and Jordan started this, we called it new resellers unite. All right. And that's what it was about. It was about community. It was about being together, helping each other out through whatever, you know, and, and that's what it ultimately, you know, boils down to. So just to end the hysteria and the, the questioning, you know, it's not that we're disappearing. We're just not going to hold that above our heads that we're the bad boys of reselling. We're always going to be the bad boys of reselling. Don't get me wrong. Ain't nobody could take that. I don't care who they are. They can even go and try to, I don't know, trademark it, sell it to somebody in another country. I don't care. But for us, it's always going to be the bad boys of reselling. But from here on out, we're just going to keep it simple. We're just the bad boys because that's who we are. We're the bad boys. Not bad meaning bad, but bad meaning good. Because at one time, I'm going to address that real quick. Pat. Thank you so much, bro. Deposit on our lunch date, sweetheart. Love you. Love you, baby. Love you, baby. I drive, though, okay? I drive. I drive, and I put the seatbelt on. You know what I'm saying? I'm, 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 I'm driving. <laughs> Love you, Pat, man. Thank you so much for that super chat, bro. For real. Um. So, so at the end of the day, what, what, was, what was I just saying now before that? Look, it's a kitty. <laughs> Imagine. Oh, right, you were talking about we're going to keep it simple, the bad boys. Yeah, the bad boys, because it's not bad meaning bad, but bad meaning good, right? Like, come on now. But in reality, I mean, we all, we can't, we have pasts, right? And our pasts don't define us, but... Our pasts are what eventually kind of molded us, right? Because, because, hear me out, hear me out. Because we actually took the time to dig into our past so we can actually get to know ourselves. Everyone thinks they know themselves. And I'm telling you right now, I don't know myself. I do. But every day I'm learning something new about myself. How do you know about that? <laughs> See, he's trolling right now, dude. He's trolling. <laughs> he's trolling right now. <laughs> Papa Ron, what's up? Oh, Papa Ron, what's up? Says Danny May introduces in 2019. Wow. That's that's some time ago. Welcome. It's good to see you. Good to see you. So, you know what I'm saying? Pat says he likes to see my weight loss journey. On Instagram. Thank you. Thank you, Pat. So that's, that's ultimately what it is. Now, we we have been discussing figuring out a, a different schedule maybe, you know, um, and things like that. So there's a couple things that a couple people I have to speak to because you guys know since day one, um, when we started this, Jordan, real quick, when we started this, did anyone else go live on Saturday nights? No. All right. Second question for you. Out of all the people that we knew, which is everyone in the reselling community, everyone supported us, right? Absolutely. So for, 
for the most part, everyone respected our time, right? It was almost as though they were like, yo, Saturday night is Jordan, is Alex, is Oscar, is Josh, it's, it's, uh, it's uh, you know, um, Scott the Bearded Pigger, is Shane the Rising, Rising, Rising Grand Pigger, is uh, just everyone in YouTube, right? It was like, it's, uh, it's everyone's time to hang out, right? So at that point, the reason we did Saturday is because every other night of the week had a time slot filled that just we couldn't do it. And Saturday just made sense. So we always kept that. Um, but now it's like everybody's live and you can't figure out a time. You know, like there's never a time that someone you don't know, right, is not live, you know. So so it's but we still always held that respect for others, you know, like. I always held that respect for others, you know, like if I, if I support you, like, it just doesn't make sense, you know, to go live at the same time as you, because it just, it just doesn't make sense, you know, like how, like, how does that make sense? Right. But I guess, you know, to each his own, you know, it is what it is. Business is business. So that's where you separate business from emotion. But um, for me, it was a little more personal with people because I care about people to the full extent, you know, like I will do anything for almost anybody, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'll do anything for my biggest enemy, you know, because I know what it's going to, what it, what it's going to do for our relationship and for me, you know what I'm saying? And, and for them, you know? So anyway, long story short, we're going to be probably changing the schedule up and um, more than likely. So stay tuned, man. Subscribe. All right. If you're not subscribed and hitting the bell, hit the bell because we're going to talk about humility for the rest of our lives. We're going to talk about uh, pride for the rest of our life, ego. We're going to talk about emotional dependence. We're going to talk about emotional independence. We're going to talk about the importance of those things in your life. Uh, we're going to talk about, you know, instincts. You, uh, huh? Instincts. Instincts. All right. We're going to talk about so many real life things, okay? Things that if you were to listen and just take one drop out of the things that we end up speaking about, we can't predict what we're going to speak about, but we pretty much know that from here on out, we're going to be talking about our lives in, in the format of when I went through what I went through, what did I think, what did I feel, and how did I act? So that I can learn from those things so that when I uh, encounter a new event like that in my life, I will have wisdom in which I will know how to think, act, and feel when it happens again. So that's the purpose of it. Because with that, you find growth in spiritual. You find growth in mental, and it, which is the same thing as emotional. You get emotional growth and emotional strength. You gain emotional, I mean, spiritual, you, you, sp you gain spirituality, you gain uh, consciousness, you know what I'm saying? So that's what we're going to be doing, um, but forever the bad boys. It's just, this is the last bad boys of reselling show, you know? It's the final episode. Yeah, all of that is true. We're going to be talking about all of the things that we've been talking about, you know, lately, um, you know motivation you know positivity you know things like that and um more than anything about our experiences you know our experiences now our experience in the past you know those things are 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 are, are, are what taught us the most right and you know anybody watching is like you may not be able to relate to maybe the life that i lived or the life that alex yeah. Jordan has lived but i can guarantee you that some of the experience you could be able you may reflect with you know what i mean you could share similar emotions that you, you know, that you felt in a similar uh, situation and things like that. And um, hopefully the things that, that me and Alex talk about, that we talk about on the show, you know, can give somebody at least that little drop or that seed, you know, to be able to, to, to think about, think about the way they reacted in a certain situation. Think about the way that they've behaved in the past towards, who knows, family members, other people, you know. And at the same time, want to work on maybe improving themselves and in interpersonal relationships and relationships in general, you know. So 
definitely stick around for that because I mean we still are not gonna script anything. That's not gonna change. We are not gonna script shows. All right. We're not going to plan anything out because, I mean, as we said, you know, in the beginning, when we try to plan things out and script things, it never works out. But when we do things spontaneous, just whatever comes up, it's when it comes out the best because it's genuine. You know what I mean? It's, 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 it's it comes from, you know, from a side and the deepest parts of a person's heart. So, yeah. And, and, you know, and, and in some cases, we're going to have, um, you know, it comes from here too, right? It, it, it all works together. It's when you have that balance, when you find, you know, when you use these tools and, and, and this knowledge, right, and you use it the right way and you actually <laughs> – how many you got, dude? There's another one running around over there. Are, are, are you, are you going to keep them all? No. <laughs> He's going to give one to Josh. Oh, that's dope. He still has that one. He still has this, the other one, right? This this one is, is squeakers. Because all he did when he was born was make a bunch of squeaking noises. So that's the one that you imprinted on? That's the one that you're most attached to? This one is, yeah. This one in the basket is Moo Moo. He's, he's like, looks like a cow. <laughs> Looking right at the camera. <laughs> But yeah, it's it's about it's it's basically about having that balance, you know, of of this, this, you know what I'm saying, and all this right out here. When you have that balance, you know, you can, you know, talk about all kind of things and and be real. But like Oscar said, spontaneous and not in the sense of like, oh, we're just doing whatever. No. We have some sort of structure. We know that we're just going to be real, and there's structure in that. There's a difference between speaking your mind and being honest. Remember that. The, there's a lot of people that constantly are speaking their mind. A lot mm -hmm. of people. A lot of people. And shout out to them, you know. But it's, it's more about being honest. The difference is that being honest is about talking about – about you you get me not talking about the rest of the world outside of you it's about talking about you and the experiences you've had that's being honest because i can tell you oh, i'm mad at this i'm mad at that i don't like this i don't like that and i could pour it all out right and there's times for that there's times for that but when you can reverse that situation and look at yourself because why are you mad? Do you like being mad? Oh, no. So then why do you get mad? You must like it. Right? So anyway, that's what it's going to be about. That's what it's going to be about. I'm getting a lot more active on social media. Um, I'll be posting a lot. So like I said, follow me on Facebook and everything. Um, trying to inspire the world. Yo, we got Yvette Anderson. That was that Yvette. It's all about delivery and intention. Being honest, yes, yes. Like Jordan. Jordan is probably one of the most. See, Jordan is a great example of speaking your mind with honesty. <laughs> and to everyone saying they love cats, I fucking hate cats. <laughs> I fucking hate them. <laughs> They're disgusting. They stink. They are cute. I have yeah. four cats. I got four them. cats. Yeah. I, and um, yeah, they're part of the family. I'd, I'd rather have uh, just. I'm fine with my dog. I got four cats and I got four birds now. You got a bird? I got I got four parrots. You got four parrots? Yeah. Yeah. Sound like a bird. So bird flying around. <laughs> <laughs> we quote Starface a lot, people. Here's the other little shit stain. That's the one that was running around? Yeah. It's like, let me go. Let me go. <laughs> we got a cat. Our cat is a devil. I'm a, I'm gonna post a picture of my cat tomorrow or put in my stories or something. Our cat's the devil. Her name's blue. She's beautiful. She's white. 
She got blue eyes. But she's the devil. You try to touch her, and she is going to bite you. She's going to scratch you. Yeah? You, have you seen the TikTok videos of people doing that? No. Oh, man. You got to look at the TikTok videos of those possessed demon cats. Stop lying. That's my cat. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. You go on TikTok. Look them up. Possessed demon cats. Like, the cats are, like, crazy. Like, they're just holding them, and they're going to pet them, and they attack their owners. Look it up on TikTok. What does feral cat mean? Uh, feral is like a stray, right? I think. I, think. I don't know why, but that's how I ended up with these because I have I, I, my porch became feral. section eight, yeah. section eight housing for this wild random cat. beast. That's awesome. So, so do they get like um, government assistance and everything? Yeah, pretty much. I pay for everything. <laughs> oh, so, okay. <laughs> Not yeah. socialized is what feral means. Got you. Yeah, a yeah. wild stray. Moogie says she doesn't do cats. I don't. I don't care for cats. Honestly, I. I love because I love. Right. I love animals. I love animals. I have, you know, soft spot for, for animals. But I just don't care too much for cats. You know. Yeah. I love animals. I just I'm not a big fan of cats. Yeah, and here he are. Here he is with putting them inside of a little apple bucket. Oh, that stupid yeah. bastard did that himself. Well, you know, come here, the other, and it's like he can't just focus on. He has to get all three and show all three love. <laughs> Taking pictures of them for his Facebook stories, inside of the apple bucket. When Halloween comes around, he's gonna dress them up like pumpkins. <laughs> put them inside of a pumpkin. <laughs> Yo, Halloween! Halloween is not that far away. Oh, it's yeah. not. It's, it's not, not Bolo. I got, I got tons of stuff sitting ready to go. Bolo. There, we mentioned reselling for the last time ever on this show. Bolo, Halloween's coming. If y'all, if y'all look, here's one last tip for y'all out there reselling. All right, it's seasonal. Seasonal is great. Seasonal is amazing. Because it starts and it ends at a certain time. So if you have money to invest, you can buy a year ahead of time. Hold on. Because when the season ends, they want to get their stuff gone. So they put stuff on clearance. And a lot of times you hold on to things. Like, for example, Christmas lights. Great bolo. You wouldn't believe it. it it'll sell all year long. But it sells heavier closer to Christmas. But if you can get... A Christmas light thing that costs a dollar on clearance and sell it for 20 bucks and you buy a hundred of them 20 times a hundred is two thousand dollars for a hundred dollar investment right come on can't beat that so think ahead and sometimes prior to the season you can find some very profitable items in your local Walmart local Target Ollie's uh, all kind of places, all kind of Walgreens, CVS. Uh, yep. Name it. You go if you go if you go into a store. There's money there to be made. Okay. Obviously, there's another step after you pass that step. You can go into actually buying directly from the distributor, which is the best way to do it, honestly. But you get you get that you know, you get that bolo. You're like, oh, Halloween's coming. It's it's not next season, but it's the season after that. So if I start figuring out what was hot last year and what's hot, what's going to be hot this year, is there anything coming out, you know, make some money. Yeah, I mean, even me doing uh, my Halloween shopping, I was sending you bolos. Mm -hmm. A couple things to flip in here and there. Yeah. Yep. Hey, Halloween, Christmas, Easter, and then summer. For me... That's those are the times that I'm going to be the most active as a reseller. I've been extremely active last couple months. Christmas, Easter, summer, and Halloween. All right, that's it. That's it. Honestly, if if you figure things out, then you know you can work one two months a year, work your butt off for one or two months a year, and make enough income 
to to be at peace with your finances for the rest of the year. You could do or that. invest in other avenues, you know, that you'll have multiple sources of income coming in. Yeah, like Dogecoin. <laughs> like Dogecoin. <laughs> to the moon, baby. Uh, Shannon wants to know if she missed the brownie recipe. Yes, you did. I'm sorry, but you totally missed the brownie recipe. You missed it. We'll have to share that another time. <laughs> if you really want to know about the about the brownie recipe, send me a send me a a, a private message on on on, uh, on Facebook, and I got you. Let me see. I saw Jackie and Sarah. What's up? No, that's Jackie. It's the Treasure Hustlers, the dynamic the dynamic dumpster diving duo. That's what I call them. They just found 100 Halloween costumes in Party City's dumpster the other night. If you sell them at a dollar a piece, that's a hundred dollars you made. Plus, you know, you hundred you sell them at a dollar plus you charge tax and you charge shipping. You made a you made a hundred dollars after actual tax. If you have an LLC or if you have an S Corp, you can get taxed differently and you end up spending less on tax at the end of the year in certain situations and you keep your stuff together. But if you sell them at ten dollars a piece, that's a thousand dollars for free. When people are like, "Oh, I, I can't believe you guys dive in dumpsters!" Like, shut up, shut up. I'm sorry, but shut up. You have the wrong mindset. Wrong mindset. There's money to be made, and it's not about the money. It's about the freedom. So if you're struggling financially, you're probably struggling spiritually and all these other things because it's it's very difficult to to be free this day and age in this whole entire world without some form of actual currency and that's the truth of the matter but if you focus on just obtaining currency you're never going to actually feel satisfied never never but if you focus on what the currency can do for you in other words give you that freedom if you could buy time would you would you buy time if you could and that's motivation for all y'all out there all of y'all the first person i ever heard talk about that was robert kiyosaki say it's like everybody's making the number one mistake the rich people don't work for money if you're working for money and you're hustling for money you're doing it for the wrong reason the rich do not work for money yeah that's facts and, and and ultimately that's jordan jordan's about to say something i hustle to feed my rc addiction <laughs> yeah there you go and that's freedom to you right that's freedom to you dude it's, it's, it's about doing the right things for the right reason yeah yeah there's nothing wrong with making money man there's nothing wrong with making money get money get money do it the right way all right don't step on nobody don't you know don't blackball nobody don't, you know get money get money money is a good thing when they say money is the root of all evil okay yes well it depends on where the money is in in whose hands is the money in my opinion if you put hands in the wrong person you put look man i was homeless i was homeless I was the guy that would pull up to the gas station, all right, with a full tank of gas, by the way, with a full tank of gas, I'll pull up to the gas station, and I'll pretend as if, as if though I didn't have gas, and I'll beg people with my great sales tactics and manipulated them to give me five, ten dollars for gas. I didn't ask for a dollar. I wasn't that, I wasn't that guy. I wasn't that petty. I was an I was a overachieving homeless man. I was a very successful homeless man, as a matter of fact. And I will say, okay, hey man, I, I'm on my way to I'm I'm on, I'm on my way to a to a job interview right now. It's all the way in, Co in Coral Gables, and I'd be in like North Miami Beach. It's all the way in Coral Gables, and I have about 30 minutes to get there. And I, I didn't realize I left my wallet and my phone at the house because I was in a rut. And I'll give this bullshit, right? Manipulate, and they'll give me ten dollars. And what would I do with the money? I would do evil with that money. I did nothing good. Nowadays, give me $10 out of the goodness of your heart, 
and you're going to see me do good things with it. I'm going to do good things with it. So money is the root of all evil, I guess, but it depends on where the root is. So, yo, we're at an hour, but being that this is the final Bad Boys of Reselling show, we're going to just, just keep chilling, though. Keep chilling like the old days. When we started this, we didn't have an end time. It was just hit live, and we would go on till 2 in the morning, 1 in the morning, 3 in the morning, and we would just talk crap the whole time and laugh. And Really, you would think it's a waste of time. Oh, yo, check me out. Uh, you really think it would be a waste of time, but it wasn't because that time was well spent. That those times were well spent, right around. Yeah, it was like around eleven o'clock when everybody everything started going downhill. <laughs> yeah, no, Yo, twelve o'clock because we actually started what at eleven o'clock. At, at first, we started late. I remember. Yeah, we started late. Yeah, I think it was like ten or eleven. Ten or it was, eleven. It was ten. I think so it was, it was probably like around twelve when everything started going downhill. Yeah, yeah. And then we like switch the time up, you know, and then back and forth, and we're figuring things out. And that's what it is. Ja Jackie says, "Great, now you make me regret giving people money." No, here we go. I'm about to hit you with some. Oscar, should I get her? Should I get her? That's on you. That's on you. All right. So look, I'm gonna give you my breakdown of it. Don't feel bad. Don't feel bad for giving people money. If you do, it's it's honestly, honestly, you had an expectation when you did that. And that's not full out generosity. That's at least that's not full out goodwill. Right. And I'm not trying to tell you, you bad person, Jack. You know, I love you, dog. I'm just trying to spit some truth. All right. Something I learned from my experiences, and I'll share an experience with you. I remember being in the recovery group I was in. I had less than a year in recovery, very fresh, um, but with a lot of recovery under my belt at the same time. And I would be going out with my sponsor. And he had about 18 years in recovery. Devoted. Awesome dude. Learned a million things from him. And we were always told, don't interact with the sick people. Sick meaning other drug addicts. They told us, don't interact with them. You know, don't, um, you know, especially a homeless person, don't. Don't give a homeless person money because you're doing that because you're seeing yourself in their shoes and you feel bad for them. And you shouldn't necessarily feel bad, right? You should you should you should you shouldn't feel bad for them. It's fine to have empathy, but you shouldn't feel bad because that's manipulation and you're allowing manipulation to happen. Well, I always thought we weren't allowed to talk to homeless people and we weren't supposed to give them money because we were supposed to think that they were going to do the same things that we used to do when we asked people for money, which was do drugs, right? One day I go out with the with, with, with the sponsor, awesome dude, and uh, and we pull up to a, to a red light. And in Miami, there's, there's people beg, begging for money on every single corner, pretty much, every single corner. It's, it's Miami's not what you see on, on TV for the majority, unless you watch 48 hours. So, well, I mean, in defense of Miami, it's in certain neighborhoods where it's more common. Yeah, the, the majority. Rural areas and a little bit farther out west, you don't see that much of it, but closer east where city of Miami is, definitely. Yeah. So we pull up to the red light, and this homeless man walks up to our car, and homeboy, sponsor, he rolls down his window, and he gives a guy every single penny that he had in the car, in the cup holder, in the ashtray, on the door panel. He gave him every single penny he had. All right? I'm about to cry. <laughs> Woo! This is why we do this, yo. This is why we do this. He gave him every single penny. And I'm thinking to myself, well, you know, I thought you weren't supposed to do that. He goes, but why not? And I, and I told him what I had mentioned earlier. And he goes, no. No. The thing is that if you do actually feel sorry, then you shouldn't. 
you shouldn't have any expectations. You shouldn't see yourself in that person in the sense of you feel bad because if that was you, you would want someone to do it for you, knowing that you would probably use it for the for the wrong reasons. So you're giving it to them thinking that it's going to do good for you. So your expectation, your expectation is that by giving them money, good is going to come back to you. Shouldn't have any expectations. I didn't give him what he asked for. He asked for a dollar. I didn't give him just a dollar or just $20. I gave him everything I had. But most importantly, I gave it to him out of goodwill with no expectations of anything in return. And I gave him everything. The difference is there's sympathy and there's compassion. And compassion is when you give your all. And that's, I learned that through that experience. And so now when I see homeless people or people who are struggling, y'all know it, man. Y'all see me in the, bro, I've, I've given people super chats when I've been broke. And I'm not saying that to brag. All right. And I didn't do it with anything in, in, in expectation of return. I did it out of the goodness of my heart. And if I didn't do it out of the goodness of my heart, I wouldn't have had blessings. So it's about doing things in full effect out of the goodness of your heart with no expectation of nothing in return. And that's how you will not get hurt. That's how you help out a friend. That's how you, how, that's how you make a friend. That's how you build a relationship with somebody. The other night, a friend of mine, not going to name names, has somebody asking them for money. And I told her pretty much the same thing. And she was being manipulated. And she didn't fall for it. And, um, and what she did was out of the goodness of her heart. You know? But that's my take on it, yo. That's my take on it. And and it's not to it's not to judge. It's not to judge. That's that's how you not that's how you don't judge. Don't have the expectation. You know? There's a difference between empathy and sympathy. The little thin line between empathy and sympathy. What's up, Delden? Yo, Delden is another one right there. Man on a mission, about to start a new life. Me and him have a have a commitment together. He said he already has his mankini. And I'm supposed to order a mankini. <laughs> and we're going to meet up one day in our mankinis at the beach and take a before and after photo in our mankinis. For the world, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. This man right here is awesome. Y'all don't know who he is? Go show him some love. About to change the world, bro. About to change the world. What's up, Soul Net? So, any other topics you guys wanna uh, touch upon? See, so you were talking about the difference between uh, sympathy and empathy. I think that's a good one to talk about. The difference between sympathy and empathy. Person can be sympathetic and not be empathetic at the same time. An empathetic person is able to put themselves in that other person's shoes, while a sympathetic person is just looking and observing from the outside. So that's one of the key differences. But we can definitely go more into detail on the difference between a sympathetic and an empathetic person. That's probably going to take a whole show. Yeah, it'll take a whole show. So stay tuned because this isn't going to stop. The only thing that's changing is the name. But this is going to continue. I'm going to keep doing this. And um, and it's just, it's going to expand and there's going to be more and there will be content. And finally, things are going to be working out the way we'd hoped. So, Mogi says she'll wear her bikini for that. All right. 
I'm taking pictures too, just so you know. I'm posting it all over Facebook. <laughs> So, all right, guys. Hey, Jordan. What's up? What's up? I'm so proud of you. Why? Why? You're awake, dude. <laughs> yeah, no, man. No, no, hey. <laughs> You're awake. Yeah, you know, hey, straight up, dude. It was awesome to get you back on here, bro. It was really awesome to get you back on here. Show's yeah, really not, the, not the same without you. Me and the little one were watching it, and she was all, like, pointing. And then she wanted to get her sippy cup, so I took her inside, and I was like, ah, okay, I'll fire up the laptop. <laughs> you did it. You're looking good, too, bro. You're looking good. Is that the ghost or the cat? That damn cat. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Tauber's mom says, Jordan stayed away the whole time? Yep. <laughs> yep. Hey, um, oh, it reminds me. Uh, Tauber's mom, please send me. Your address, where you want me to send you the IKEA stuff, because I went through all of my emails. I went through my pirate ship. I went through my UPS. I went through my FedEx, and I couldn't find it. So send it to me, please. Uh, bad boys are reselling at gmail.com. Do that, and um, yeah, so I'll, we'll definitely give you all a fair warning. In other words, if you're not subscribed already and don't have the bell notification, do it. I will be posting every single day for the most part on my community tab. It'll be something inspirational, something that I'm going through. Um, definitely subscribe and, and, and stay tuned for that. Um, so far, we know that next week we'll be live again. Um, but I might, you know, do a live or do a post or a community post or something to give y'all a heads up of, of what the schedule is going to be like for the bad boys um, and, and all that. So. Oscar, you got anything coming up? Uh, it's another reselling show on Wednesday. Uh, That's going to be, I think this week, Wednesday, is going to be at 10 p.m. It's going to be on the Thrifting Goombas channel, so check it out. We'll be talking about reselling and eBay and Amazon, and you know, and then still we touch on a couple things that have a lot to do with the content that we talk on, the bad boys of reselling, too, so definitely go check it out. For sure. Yeah, so y'all are still gonna get some reselling content. So go holler at, go show, go show some love to El Cubanazo. Go show some love to Mike Thrift and Goomba. And Jordan, you got nothing else coming up? No, nope, I'm just going uh, going racing tomorrow. So. Oh yeah. Hopefully, Good I don't forget my shit I just spent all week fixing up. <laughs> <laughs> That's part of it, though, right? Yeah. You got you guys got like a pit crew over there too. I see them like one guy on each side, and they grab the cars. It's pretty dope. It's pretty dope. All right, that's what's up, man. So yeah, I ain't got nothing else coming up either. Just a regular thing. It's just bad boys, bad boys for life. And um, what's up, Susanna? It's good to see you. So yeah, that's about it, guys. Hey. Don't forget to show love to somebody, especially those who don't necessarily love you back. The reason they don't love you back is because they probably don't understand what love is. And if they did, they would love more. So show them what love is so that they can spread that love to others. So love y'all. Till next week. This is it. Final episode of the Bad Boys and Reselling. Peace. Money, love. Mm. Dogecoin. <laughs> Dogecoin. Elon, holla at your boy, Elon.